Hello and welcome to today's Python tutorial. Today we are going to make a mini project for beginners. Based on what we learned from the previous video on file handling, that is reading files, writing into files, adding to them, and deleting them, we are going to make a contact book now. Let me show you what it is we are going to make. Now I'm using repli.com as, as my online, uh, online Python editor. And you can see there are no <coughs> file here except the main.py file. If I run the program, it asks me to add, search, or quit. I'm going to add a contact. So I choose A, press enter, name, and as you can see, immediately this text file has been created. Now let's uh, add names. My name, Vahid. Let's say a phone number like 1234. Do I want to add again? Search. Let's just add one more. And that's going to be Sarah and the number 4321. Now this time I'm going to search. So I've added now. If I look at this text file here, let's see. You can see this text file has been created with this information there. Now I want to search in my contact book. So let's choose S, press enter, search for a name. Let's just say I know, for example, Sarah. So, Sarah, if I press enter, you see this is given, Sarah4321. And if I choose only SA and press enter again, oh, sorry, that was, uh, I should have chosen S. Okay, let's choose search now. So search if I press SA, press enter, and again, Sarah is found. I can also choose numbers. So let's search again for a number like one, two, three, four, and that belongs to Vahid. So this is given. Okay, this is so cool, and I can quit the program by choosing Q. Now let's see how this is done. Okay, so um, I have created a new REPL, and you can see there is no file here. The first thing we need to start with is with an with statement. I've talked about this in the previous video. So we need to open a file to read or to write to or to add to. So for that we need to use open uh, with open as a function and it takes two parameters. The first one is the name of a file. We don't have any file, so let's create it. Let's just say contact dot txt. So that's the first parameter or argument. Now the second argument would be the mode. So I'm using I'm opening it for R reading, W writing, or A appending or adding. I'm not using W because if I use write mode, it will delete whatever is in there already and it will replace things. And the next time that I run the program, it will delete everything beforehand. So I don't want that. I want to keep adding. So that's why I use A. And let's give this file a name, so as F. So we are opening this file as F. So now F refers to this open file. So what am I going to do with this? So first of all, we are going to ask for the input of a user, about the name, for example, and about the phone number. So let's save this information inside name variable. And that would be an input that asks the user to provide a name. And then another variable for phone number, phone. And again, that would be an input from the user, which says phone. Now that I've stored these, I have to add them to this file. So I have to add them as a line, as one line. So that's why we use this file f here, f. And this has a method, write lines, plural. So we are going to write lines on this file and on each line I want something like this name and phone so I can say name because we grab the name and let's put them actually inside another pair of parentheses as tuples so name what else do I need for just a style let's add a colon here so there would be a distance and then the phone I also want this to be on one line and then the next name and phone should go to the second line. That is why I add 
backslash n that is a new line so after each name and phone create a new line for the next contact okay now let's run this program see there is nothing here if i run this you see contact has already been created and it's empty now let's add a name to it my name Vahid and press enter and the phone number one two three four it exits now if I go to the contact I see here Vahid one two three four cool but the point is if I want to enter names I all the time I have to run the program and then again run the program again but I want the program to, to keep running until I tell it to quit so for that we need to use a while loop and we put everything here under that while loop and that would be while true so while loop runs until something um, is true and since true is always true this keeps running on and on until I say okay now break out of the loop and everything should be indented because now it's inside the while loop and it just runs keeps running now if I run this again you will see the difference now okay name let's say John number one two three four again you see it comes up again now let's say Sarah three two four. you see so it just keeps running and running that is what while loop does okay now that we have this the second thing would be to um, to search so in order to search into our uh, file for a name or for phone number look this is the structure of our file now Vahid, John and Sarah so I want to go through each line and check if that name exists in that line if it exists in this line I say okay now print the whole line the way I do it is we need to use with again just the same as this we need to open the same file open contact um, open contact dot txt and the mode is going to be a reading mode now because we are going to read go through the lines read them and see what exists there and let's also open it as f open here now we need to use uh, ask the users input like what do you want to look for if they say John for example so we need to, to have like a search input so that would be an input input from the user whatever the user asks us so let's just say search so whatever they say we should look for that name there now to go through the file line by line we use a for loop so we say for i in f so for i in f in this file and i here would be just every line for i in f if search that is what the user gives us in exists in i in that line in that line that we're going through print i the whole line so if whatever the user gives us exists in that line like if john exists there okay print the whole line that is john and the phone number so this is how it should go now let's try this let's stop this and go over it again let's just give it a name this time alex and 987 now search let's search for Vahid see Vahid one two three four cool so now the search function works but the issue is this is this has to run in this order and I don't want that uh, I'm going to give the user the option to choose if they want to add a contact if they want to search for a contact or if they just want to quit so for that we need to ask for the user's input right let's just call it q equals input and here let's say add a so that they know for adding they should press a 
uh, search s and quit quit q something like that should be enough now depending on what the user chooses i have to put it here so i say if q that is whatever the user chooses is for example a for adding then this should run that it should ask for users input for name and phone now i have to indent this to be under this conditional now the second condition elif q equals s it means for searching so we should run this option search so let's just indent this as well else whatever other case there is i mean like q or whatever else doesn't matter so else break break means break out of the loop and the program now let's just do this again so i'm going to run this add search quit okay i'm going to add something oh what are you going to add let's say rick phone number zero 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 cool add search quit let's just search s what are you going to search for let's say alex Ah, oh, alex here cool and the last one okay let's search for the phone number as well actually one two three four oh, okay so we have john and we have vahid with these same phone number that is weird but yeah we just did it ourselves so now q quit and you can see all these files uh these this information here as well you can see in this file you can save it nice so that was our mini project for today i hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe leave a like or a comment thank you for watching and listening